I've got a nice, clean, DI'd electric bass, and we're going to bring it to life with Mixbox. And we're going to use some sidechain compression, and I'll show you how that's set up in Mixbox. So let, first, let me give you a little before and after. Here's the dry DI'd signal. And with Mixbox, so very big differences you can see. Now, I don't have a lot going on here. SVT Classic is perfect for bass sounds, and I'm actually using a preset here, and I'm perfectly happy with it. So nothing more to say. It just sounds fantastic. I like this one, too. Now here, I'm just going to flip over to the rack view. I've got sidechain enabled, and you'll notice on my plugin that I have a sidechain input set up here, and it's listening to the kick drum. And that's where it is in my mix. So here I'm using the bus compressor, the SSL bus compressor, which is a little bit of an unusual choice for electric bass, but I like the attack and release control that we have on it in terms of triggering the sidechain. So here I've got the sidechain enabled on this slot, meaning it's only going to affect this. So the idea is that it listens to the bass drum that's happening here and acts upon the bass, but gets triggered based on the kick drum. So when the kick drum hits, it's going to duck the bass a little bit so that the kick drum will stand out better. Let me solo the kick and bass for you. That's without it. Now, if I go for a quicker attack, it reacts a lot more quickly versus a slower attack. I like it around there. Same thing with release. It's releasing more slowly versus a quicker release. I want a pretty quick release in this case. And I'm not using a lot of makeup gain. And just to give you an idea what this is like without sidechain enabled, So it really kind of contours the compression around the kick. And then a bit of saturation. I love the steel to add a bit of dirt onto it. And with the drums. So here's the whole rack off. Very bland. And now much more characterful. Nice, thick, rich sound. Ducking around the kick so it'll have its space and a bit of edge saturation. And again, without the side chain. So it works, but just so much better like that. We'll continue with more in the next video.